What's up, everybody? Brett here, back today playing some more Death Must Die. And off camera, y'all, I played a run with uh, with Krant here, and it was super fun. I wish I had had a chance to record it, but I just wasn't I wasn't feeling up to talking into a microphone. I just wanted to chill and play a little bit of this game. And we've already beaten uh, the Baron with Krant, so I didn't feel too bad. I, I played it without any modifiers. You can see we've unlocked more because of that victory. Um, so what happened was, and the reason why I said I wish I would have recorded it is just because it was the first time, uh, I ever got, what's his name? I guess time, I guess you call him time, the God time. And I got most of his abilities and it ended up being pretty sick. The thing about time as a God in this game is that it seems like you need like all of his abilities together in order to make him work. And I was able to get a high level wisdom very early which gave me a ton of experience which let, would let me ramp into all of the other um spells and stuff so it was it was pretty fun and I, I like i said i wish i had gotten it on camera but and what so i think i also played with his critical attack chance bonus and ended up getting uh just all the stuff relevant to critical attack chance and he hit so damn hard it was pretty fun so today I'd like to try to win with Avaron. I think that could be cool. We could either go for his invulnerability or the sign of the hero, which gives him bonus attack damage. Uh, let's try the attack damage. We're going to check our stash because we got a ton of stuff in there. And I also want to try to play with these, uh, like one of each, one of each of these difficulty modifiers and then see, you know, what kind of rare items drop. So enemies have bonus movement. Elite enemies have extra area. Minions have bonus 80% damage in the last three minutes. Enemies have two extra projectiles. That sucks for me. Uh, they're 35% faster. Bosses hit 30% harder. Elites and bosses have two extra projectiles. And bosses have 35% more life per rank. And that puts us up to 19, whatever these little skulls are. Let's confirm. I don't even know if this is possible for us probably not but we will try so in terms of gear yeah we're still wearing like basic basic gear on our boy here and I've got mythic stuff to switch out so that's pretty sweet that feels good let's go ahead and switch this out I mean look at the armor difference 83 armor versus 18 armor I mean that's night and day we're gonna sell that let's pick these up can't use any of this other stuff. This gives us a ton more experience gain. Like 20% more. That's crazy. We've got multiple amulets. Let's see what we what we want to do here. This one gives spell damage, which is massive. 36% spell damage and some spell duration. This one gives us better offers. Like a lot. Plus 30% more legend offers. And they only spawn on master offers. Okay. Good to know. This also gives spell damage, critical hit, chance to heal on hit and life regen. We're going to take that. That's going to make him much tankier. And then as far as jewels here, sure, we'll just take the upgrade. This is bound to him, so I think we just have to sell it. Infuse with pink punch. Love it. Okay, that's all we have. Let's go see if maybe the shop has something else for us. Looks like the answer to that is going to be no. Would be nice to pick up like a better weapon. Oh, a better ring would be nice too. We just don't have any. Maybe we'll pick them up with all these modifiers. Let's sell. With all these modifiers, we should be able to get some sick drops. Let's put these back so those can be rolled. If indeed that's how that works. I don't know. But alright, let's go. Let's try not to die with all the crazy modifiers we've added. Alright, deep breath. For justice. We can save the sanctuary. Maybe we'll want to use that later. So remember we get bonus damage every level. Every three levels, I should say. 
Bonus attack damage. Hot Love it. Of cold for you, dear. So we're starting off getting winter here, which I don't hate. I don't hate. Let's go for an alteration and see what we get. And we get Krom. Huh. But they're all expert level, which I'm pretty happy about. This is probably a good rampaging strike start. I think those are all great. I wouldn't blame you for taking any of them. Getting blades off and running early would be nice. But being able to one-shot skeletons. Having some knockback. These are all good things. I'm trying to quickly make my way towards these POIs. Need a sickle to face there the we go. More is what we want. Efficient anyway. Lifelink. I mean, it's all about lifelink. I'm not going to roll on this. These are great. Um, so get early skeletons, early soul stealers. Uh, I think these are all pretty great. Let's go ahead and just spec into our auto attack, which is what this build kind of wants anyway. Damn, those things are pretty cool. I, I don't think I've ever seen them like by themselves early on like that. They do a lot of damage. I didn't realize they kind of did that 360 Charming. pattern. Sometimes I'd meet Mort rather than her father in my line of work. A much more delightful experience. So we could try to roll off of Ligong. But I think this guy is going to be our kind of like AoE damage. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take lightning orbs. We got Mort... For sustain and healing, we just need to get, um, we just need to get lifelink. I was kind of jonesing for a fun Lady Justice build. But that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Take the stamina shrine and we can move around freely. This is where it's going to get sketchy when these skeleton archers and stuff start spawning. We're not even going to be able to hide from all of the projectiles that are going to come our way. Your dash turns you into a damaging ball of lightning. I remember this. We've only gotten this one like one time. And haste, just getting straight up 24 movement speed could be legit. But ball lightning is fun. It's just kind of hard to control. I wish the icon on top of our head would start blinking when it was about to expire. Because we could very easily get caught in a situation where we think we're good to keep auto attacking and walking. But we're not. Unless I'm missing like the cue that shows me. The ball lightning would definitely be better on someone like Merit. Yeah, and chain lightning here. Oh my god. And now lightning bolt. These are all insane. Getting them all at expert level is nuts. Probably just because of the modifiers we have. There's almost no reason for us to take any basic tier or anything. When our modifiers are so high, all we have to do is wait. And we'll get the better stuff. And if the sickles also have a chance to apply chain lightning as an on-hit effect, I mean, that's busted if that's the case. I don't know if it's the case, though. Ball lightning's fun, man. When I was a kid, I used to watch Static Shock on WB back in the day. Maybe some of you know that old movie I used to or not movie that old TV show the cartoon is super fun let's roll here yeah I guess we'll just level up our rampaging strike I was hoping to get more high level offers would love to get a, an extra AoE ability or two or something that helps me be survivable before the jellies show up 
Or even chains would be good on off a of crump. Every time I say his name, I feel like I'm about to say a bad word. No mercy. I'm with you, Crom. I just Okay, this is one of the exceptions to to not taking like an expert level. I do want to get this ASAP. It's gonna help us so much, especially when we get surrounded. All right, let's read some books. All right, send in the ooze. Bonus heal, sweet. Not relevant yet, but will be in the future. So if ball lightning counts for like distant travel to trigger the lightning bolts, that's pretty sick. Man, I want all of this stuff, man. We're going to take, once again, I'm going to make an exception here because this gives us experience. And this is the perfect time to get that. It's early in the run. And we're also killing so many enemies that the chance of that spawning or dropping is really high. Come on, man. Big stuff. Slick stuff. Neat stuff. Let's get that. That's a little Garth. Garth Brooks cringe Facebook message humor. You guys don't know the reference. There's few things I dislike more in this world than a creepy celebrity. Celebrity's fine, but creepy celebrity? Like, what are we doing? Why are we pretending these people are okay? Okay, um... Spell speeds and cooldowns are faster. I think that's great. That's just straight up damage. What we could really use with this build is crit. We already have high attack damage. We're in the 80s. Just with sometimes 90s, it looks like with basic attack damage. Still stuck in that graveyard. And we just hit level 12, so it's going up even more. Um. Sure. More lightning bolts, please. We're doing pretty well considering all the modifiers against us. No, some of them don't kick in until we fight real bosses. Or until the late game when the enemies get really strong. It might still be easy going now, but at 18 minutes, I think we might be in some trouble. Really got to try to get... Squeeze as much power out of this as possible. Sure, let's get more gold. I like gold. Me and gold member. Um, attack speed could also be great. Considering we have a bit of a right click build. Chains of War though. We'll keep upgrading it and eventually, hopefully, we get the option to turn it into a higher tier version of it. And then we'll already have all the upgrades we need. So elevating it to like an expert level or something like that, which I'm hoping for, or an adept level, will make a big difference. Because it'll be upgrading multiple tiers. Okay. Whoa, what are you? They're just big flying lizards, the dragon shrine. So, gain bonus evasion or movement speed. Um, I think these are both great. I'm going to take the movement speed. I think that's going to be crucial with dodging some of the attacks that are going to be coming our way. And, you know, there we go. Those two things together, we're moving, man. Add that to ball lightning. Yeah. 
Damn, could not dodge that. Stuck on a tree, or on a shrine thing. Oh no. The bosses do a lot more damage. We really... I'm being a little uh, loosey-goosey here, but we can't let them hit us. And they both hit us. Jesus, that sucked. We had a cool thing going. Sorry, guys. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Just didn't dodge well enough. We're going to leave all that up. We're going to just roll it back. We got the lusty orc handyman. Sending mail. Taro, there's a mountain of invitations to be sealed. I can help. Good at licking. It might take a long time. No worries, ma'am. You'll be satisfied more. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's going in the in the collection there. That's pretty funny. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, just straight up need to dodge better. I just did not dodge like at all very well. So here, I mean, we have better stuff. Could replace our relic. And can replace our sword. This one also gives us a chance to heal with life on kill. Let's do that. And this gives us big evasion. Wish we had a... A better... Actually, we do. There are rings right here. What am I talking about? I just didn't see them. Sure, we'll buy this. Spell damage, spell speeds, more adept offers. Yep. And just like that, we really upped our... Our power level here. Still wearing a... Blue chest piece, but... It's alright. Let's get back in there. Lady Justice, Lady Justice. I just feel like doing that kind of a run. Also would have probably switched over to the uh, invulnerability just for the sake of doing it. This shrine gives us a magnet. We don't need that yet. Could be good to circle back to it. At some point if we felt like we left. May my yes. Powers aid you in your if we felt like we left a lot of experience on the board. Man, I don't want to re-roll here. I guess, yeah. Okay. That's not a bad right click. Apply weekend. Better versus bosses and elites. Not so much versus the dudes we already one shot, right? But 15% more damage stacked onto all the other damage we're going to try to get as we level. And if we had to get something that was basic like that, at least it was the right click and not one of the spells we really want. So the demon is laughing at you, mocking you. Lowering our chance for adept and expert offers, but giving us higher chance at master offers? No, we take rude gesture, gain 20% damage against enemies above 50% life. That's great. The reaper does not listen to the harvest. All right, we got so more. maybe it's high time he started. So, double healing. Let's get a lifelink right off the bat, please. And we did not. We got a chance, once again, at kind of a cool summon build. Let's just take the Ravens. The Ravens are great single target damage. And also, they're like homing. I can just spend my mental energies dodging bosses while the Ravens do work. And we've already seen the power of leveling them. Playing with fire, huh? Okay, and then fire for DPS. I love it. AoE and DPS. We're just not getting... Oh, man. Yeah, we'll take Meteor Shower. I want some random damage on the board. We're just... We're not getting the, the rarity that I was hoping to get.
So now we could use like a nice dash ability, maybe trail of fire. We could definitely use lifelink. I'm going to say that like every time I think of it. Because it is that strong. Once again, man. All right, we take trail of fire, but... There's other considerations there, but I did want to get a good dash ability. Circle around here, pick up the jewels. The precious jewels. So we saw the power of combust in our last episode where we also had that legend blessing that spread status effects and made everyone explode. Let's take flare here. I want to see if I can notice it, like the fireball shooting out and hitting people. Because when I'm playing, it's hard to see some of the effects. I don't really care for what's going on here. I'm just invested in your story, you know? Eh. Or like a Netflix show she enjoys watching. Sure, we'll take incineration. At this point, I'm just taking whatever I can get. But having burning enemies leave more fire causes more burning enemies, which leave more fire. So it's... It's pretty sweet. Also goes very well with that high-level combust we could have picked up. Okay, there's a firebolt. Get some max life. You love to see it. Oh, man. These offers again, huh? I'm going to take purification in anticipation of getting lifelink, HP regen. Or the other spells that can kind of refund you life if you get hit. If I can get those three things, then that one particular blessing is almost like getting three levels instead of one. It compounds all their effects by 25%. Right now, it does absolutely nothing, so that's the gamble. Mort is the only one of us who aids you without the use of the hourglass. Even though she is no longer in this realm, her power here still holds. I don't know what that means. I appreciate it. Yep, we take the regeneration. Once again, basic level stuff. I'm not willing to banish anything. We could use our alteration dice, I suppose, if we get start getting some rolls we really don't like. See what's going on down here. Sure. Kind of just in time for the slimy boys. Being able to walk through them is pretty nice. Just keep moving forward. Or backwards, we're moonwalking away from these guys. It's pretty funny. Me, after his throne? No. Though if he could just take a short break and listen for once, that'd be great. Man, she has big disappointed daughter vibes. I feel for it. I guess we'll just get more ravens. Even if we don't need to dash, we should probably be doing it just to spread the fire. Not bad. I think we took one hit there. Make 
sure we're applying that weakened effect to him. Sorry, Dad. We're gonna reroll. I'm not gonna reroll Ravens, but everything else, man. The bonus attack damage would have also been good. The bonus experience would have been good. Really trying to get lifelink, man. That's what's gonna carry us into the late game. I don't always like to use OP strats in video games. But I don't particularly think it's overpowered so much as every different god has an effect that's just significantly stronger, I think, than the others. Which is fun. It gives you an incentive to, to try to get that particular god. More pickups. Also, I will say this, we're not quite getting the, the rare sick drops yet. Maybe we just gotta get a little deeper into the run, but... So, this is a chance to get some heal. Reprisal works really well also with the firebolt. So if enemies attack you, they have a chance to either be stunned or get hit with a fireball. I mean, and there was the, the smiting right there. And now we get to hear, like, holy paladin music. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I couldn't hit my mute button in time. Apologies for the big sneeze. Go Ravens, go Ravens, go! There we go, a little bit of tighter dodging here. We're also overlapping some of our hits, which is very nice. The Ravens seem- ah, I dodged the wrong way. The Ravens seem like they're doing good work. Yeah, we need the permanent damage. Let's let's take this. Ooh, that was close. Yeah. We take an expert level combust. I think that's great. We'll take an adept level breath of fire. I think that's good as well. And we're picking up a bunch of junk. We're almost certainly going to have to drop. At this point in our, our gaming, uh, it's probably not even a good idea to pick up grays. They're just increasing the likelihood we get hit as I pick up the grays. I'm loving the amount of fire we have, it's just all kind of weak. HP regen's good, I would love to get Divine Shield. Make our healing go a little bit further. Man, just more ravens, huh? All the ravens. I mean, I think they were responsible for a lot of the damage to the boss. God, this is hell. Oh, I mock you, Earl. Earl the Skeleton Archer. We are not bros. I'm just going to take the experience. I don't think we're coming back here. And we've definitely left some experience on the board. You really think you can kill death, though? 
We don't have a string for him. Oh, damn. That's kind of a good point, huh? Sure. We'll take a bigger attack area. I think if your attack area gets big enough on this character, it just goes in a circle. So we probably have to get, like, every upgrade to make that happen. That's not going to happen. So. More luck. Love it. I mean, if you're going to give it to me, I feel like I should take more life, though. Or longer dashes would have also been probably decent. This elite, like, always drops a level for us. Man. I don't know how many of you guys ever used to watch wrestling when you were a kid, maybe. Or still do. Whatever. I just... I grew out of it as a kid. I'm a fire but there was a group of wrestlers called Raven's Flock. That was like grunge, like, punk dudes. And I'm a little bit ashamed to say I used to, like, think they were the coolest, coolest dudes. <laughs> Them and Sting. When Sting would come down from the ceiling or Rey Mysterio would show up. Anyway. I was thinking about wrestling the other day, trying to remember all the different dudes. From that era. Yeah, I guess we just go with combust. It does a lot of damage and all that, but like it doesn't trigger that often. It's a reduction in like the time the time it takes for them to trigger that would be more valuable than strictly upgrading the damage. Attack speed or spell projectiles? I'm trying to think of what projectiles we even have. Like, none. I'm gonna take attack speed. It pairs well with a lot of our effects. And there's even more we could get that would make it a better pickup. And just to try something different. I don't want these, man. Okay, 11% spell damage will take. A little aggravated that that also came with our only, like, meteor option. Happy to get an evade there. Let's go shut these dudes down, spawning archers. Archers are especially dangerous since they have multiple projectiles now. damage. Feeling good, I just don't want to eat like a million shots to the face like that. Sure, I'll take another 10% spell damage. I think that's just great. I don't know if this, the spell damage doesn't help my summons. Doesn't help my right click. It's not perhaps as good on this build. It is helping like all of my fire related stuff though. back from combust you can see it doing work I mean can we reroll here I I'm gonna banish serendipity I guess I'll take sickles I don't know man it's another source of like AoE damage it applies status effects like fire hopefully though maybe it just applies weakened But even that, that's okay. 
If it applied fire, that would also be great, just because it could lead to more combusting. If I hit tab, I was about to say, does this show me how much damage it's contributing? It does not. That would be useful. Hey! Can we use that? No, we can't use axes. Damn. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop some of this trash right now while we have a sec. Man, we could upgrade our gloves and our weapon if they were relevant. Man, these guys are hitting the hell out of me. They're so fast. Whatever, man. Get skeletons. We'll go wide if we can't go tall the way I want to. Yeah, and here I'd rather just get more meteors, more damage. like halfway through the run I think getting weak experience shards while it will probably pay for itself I feel like we're experiencing a bit of a I don't know like we're weak we're, we're a little bit weaker than we should be right now I feel so we can hit his fireballs out of the sky it's just hard to kind of see where he is sometimes. Yeah, that hit me. Yeah, and we just got wrecked. He does 30% more damage. And he has more fireballs. So, playing back there wouldn't have really been that great. Just because we could have dodged his attacks easily. But we would have done almost no damage. The bad thing about the Ravens is, when the board is flooded, they're not doing the single target damage. I think the Ravens are just really good versus... Um, let me deposit this. They're very good versus, like, the Baron at the end. Because he doesn't have that many spawns. So all the Ravens just go to him, and he kind of is static. So they just nuke him. Wow, look at this. Huge armor, huge life. This gives us a heal on level up, but I'd rather just have the armor and the life, man. Can I not afford this? I cannot. Wow. I mean, that's an insane drop. I think what we do here is we take all of the purples. I don't need to drag and drop. Transfer like that. Let's sell these and see what we have. Yeah, like this is worth a fortune. Some of these not so much, but we can afford this now. This is an insane get. Alright. We got... To be honest, I feel like we got a little bit screwed on that run. We're gonna go for the invulnerability. We're gonna keep We're gonna keep pushing with Averon. We got Lady Justice and then didn't get any of the abilities that I wanted. We also got super low level stuff. Didn't get lifelink. Got the exact gods we wanted, didn't get the spells we wanted. Or the blessings. To use their parlance. Also, I definitely did not employ the right strategy in fighting the necromancer. Blazing. Here, no, we reroll. Ah, oh, man. I think these are fine. I'll take Breath of Fire. That's a really strong spell. Blessing. Whatever. Found a little source of healing. I hope we don't need it. Be thoughtful about your ways. Choose carefully from what we offer. 
I'm going to say, offer me good stuff or I'm going to roll, man. Yeah, we'll take Warp Strike. Your attacks become stronger. Enemies you hit shoot out experience shards behind them. Yeah. Ooh, I don't recognize this. Trying to music. A calming song can barely be heard from underneath the stone. Gain a larger pull area. Enemy barriers are reduced by 24% or experience per second. I think these are all great. I can see pull area has synergies with some of Time's blessings. And that you spawn way more shards. And then he has a, a, a blessing called Force which draws them back to you and deals damage. So this could be good for us. Enemy barriers being reduced is just great, especially for some of the bosses and elites. But experience per second is always good. And we picked it up at 47 seconds, roughly. So, I mean, what, what more do we want? Just straight up bonus experience for the rest of the run. I'm going to upgrade this. Still have to see what our third god is. Or who, I should say. Referring to them as a what is pretty disrespectful. Apologies. Apologies to the gods. A little bit of max HP. We're at 107. We're in like Kron level HP right now. All my now. family is quite cold. I'm rather cool though. More Breath of Fire, huh? I'll keep taking it. It's also one we haven't leveled up to the fullest. I don't know if maybe it gets some kind of cool effect we don't know about. For all I know, it summons a dragon at level 5 or something. I don't know. I doubt it, but maybe. Time's Lady Justice. Hell center yeah. Of okay. Their power. Yet they handed it to you so that death may face judgment. Sick. Divine Shield. We take those. Not even looking at everything else. That's going to help me so much when I start getting smacked by bosses for huge damage. The demon here. We're going to take the bonus damage once again. Love that he has a spooky laugh. So does our primary target not get hit by Breath of Fire? So like if we wanted to hit the elite there, we needed to hit something in front of him. That's what it looked like. So here we have a chance to make use of that force spell that I was talking about, which gives us a bigger shard pull area, which is great. It's going to allow us to pick up more experience. They'll do damage. Um, whenever you take an experience shard, you gain movement attack. These all work very well together. Time field is just good by itself. And getting it at expert level is huge. Increases the duration and area effect as well as lowering the cooldown. Um, this is maybe a more interesting build. And this is maybe a more solid one. What do we take? Time field is such like a lifesaver. I'm going to take force though. Maybe we can make a cool time experience shard, you know, build work. Heat. Man, still, huh? I'm going to take behemoths here. It's kind of early to level up Breath of Fire to that point. We're already one-shotting everything with it. I'd rather diversify a little bit. Probably we even would have been okay to use a reroll there. Maybe not. Maybe it also affects them. It did light that dude on fire. 
Uh, more damage. Yeah, we'll take more experience. It's early. We're only three minutes into the run. Getting bonus experience like that is probably worth it, even at the basic level. We've proven we can survive even with all these modifiers in the early game. We just got to make it past the Necromancer. And by then, we should have accumulated enough experience with these bonuses. Take from my blessings, champion. Um, I mean, five seconds lower on Divine Shield is great. I'm going to take armor. That could have been a good reroll as well. A hundred percent bonus damage really comes in handy versus certain enemies. The slime's probably not quite it. Inner peace is great. Now we have a little regen to go with our divine shields. And remember, we kind of, in a way, have two divine shields. Thanks to our passive ability that we chose before we started the run. Sure. Damage return plus heal. Once again, can keep us alive in these boss fights. Also, you know, do some damage. If we're going to be like a Thorns tank. Having every source of, of heal. And if that works, like, if they count damage, even damage we didn't take because of Divine Shield, but it still hurts them, then that's a pretty cool synergy as well. Like, we don't actually have to take the damage to send back the damage. Don't know if it works that way, but that, that would be great. Sure. Man, no drops. No drops there sucks. We're gonna roll. Oh man. So lame. So I used alteration ritual in my uh, run with with Krant yesterday, and it was super fun. It randomly spawned like a giant fire dragon, just like crazy effects were happening as I leveled, and some of which were very timely effects that like helped me kill bosses. So it's kind of a gamble, but we have so much bonus experience. That leveling is kind of part of what we're doing. It's just those effects don't last very long, man. We'll increase the time that our spell effects last. Once again, I feel like we're kind of getting screwed on blessing choices. I'm seeing like potential, but we're never quite getting there. All right, no more skeleton archers. Knock that out. Knock that off, that's what I meant to say. Sick of aid there. The further you delve into his realm, the more he loses his grip over it. Um... Sure. If we pick up a lot of experience shards, it's going to give us a lot of random effects. I don't even know what that effect is. But yeah, I don't, I don't feel super confident currently in the build that we have. That was just a bad dodge.
Man, Smite's doing some work, though. Keeping these nerds on their toes. Alright, don't dodge into the pillar. Definitely don't double dodge into the pillar. Come on, Divine Shield. Come back up. Alright, alright. We're not mad at that. More life regen, more armor. So we got the smite effect, but I don't think we uh, we didn't have that spec. Alright, let's go kill this guy. Man, we have such bad damage. Sure, give me Celestial Wings. If you're not going to give me anything else. More region, I suppose. Now we have the healing, but we don't have any of the damage. And we need to get that from Summer. Could also use a legendary blessing, I'll just point that out. Infinity is at your side. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I guess it's time to just take time field. It's such a good benefit to just not have it, even at its most basic level. But once again, it doesn't do damage. Our right clicks are doing work though. Not 100% sure how they got so strong. Unless I accidentally left on the, uh, the attack bonus every three levels without realizing it, which I may have done. More regen, more chance. Chance to stun, I guess. We're just going to hear angels singing for the rest of the run. I'm just gonna drink the fountain. This guy always hits me at least once or twice. Fate string, that's interesting. We'll see what this stuff is in a second here once we get rid of this nerd. We're like perma stunning him, that was cool. Pandemonium, all your blessings, rarities are upgraded, sick. Would have been nice to get that way earlier, but I'm not going to complain. That's awesome. Sure. Yeah, that's a nice one, though. We were complaining about our low rarity, and the game just gives us higher rarity. Feels pretty good. That was just an across-the-board upgrade to everything. Awesome. That was like getting like eight blessings in one. That might be one of the best legends. Because imagine if we already had a pretty high rarity run to begin with. It would have just shot us into the stratosphere.
Random blessings. We're attacking super fast, man. The age of death passes. Deadlock. Force at master level. Sure. Way bigger shard pull area, so we don't even have to almost go pick up shards anymore. They're just going to come to us. All right, now we have shurikens. Sweet. All right, got to kill this guy. Too many skeleton archers. And those wings, man, have a zooming around. Which is pretty sick. Hmm. It's probably early enough that a 10% bonus to our experience is going to pay for itself. But maybe only barely. Drag all the shards through them. That way they take the damage. We are flipping zooming, man. This is the fastest we've ever been. Attack wound penalty. Okay, more cons consecration. More life regen. The damage reflection is almost certainly insane versus the bosses. We like a big shot from the Necromancer. He might just kill himself with a thousand percent damage reflection. My gifts are far cooler than those of winter. She's not here, so I'll agree with you. Spell damage is increased. Let's... I wish I could roll, man. She's where most of our damage needs to come from. And we're just not really getting her to, to pop up. That was cool. Keep going south. Like Treebeard said, sometimes it feels like going downhill. You guys know Treebeard, right? From Star Trek? JK. Okay, so more evasion, dash cooldown. I'm going to take the evasion. Dash cooldown could have been good there. Your quest will restore the world's proper order. It's probably too late for wisdom now. 20 plus percent damage increase on our auto attacks. Probably worth. But our auto attacks are weak, man. Sin can never remain hidden. Let's go for Divine Shield. Really get that cooldown low. Especially since they upgraded it for us with that legend blessing. Okay, here's the true test. We do no damage. AOE, single target or otherwise. We're just gonna have to take this slow probably. Or try to get hit and get the damage reflection to do the work. Sure, I guess we just take Breath of Fire. Alright, we need him to come back into the zone here. 
Hey, random effect. We got the chilling. Sweet. That's great. Like I said, it randomly comes in pretty clutch. Keep an eye out for if we take damage from him. See how much damage the conse Consecration does back. Not to mention, we do get some of the health back. So it's it's really not that big of a deal for us to take that kind of damage. What is a big deal is still be fighting this dude when all these much harder enemies start showing up. That's kind of a problem. So, better time field. We'll take force. What I'd really like to do is check out if we got any good stuff to put on. Sentry Eye, that looks sick. Its gaze seeks what it lacks, more mythic items. As well as Fate String. Plus one revivals. What happens to all the string the Fate cut? That's sick. We're gonna drop some of these grays. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop shooting me with all that stuff, homie. We just have to have better stuff. We have to have more ways to do damage. Leaving fire on the ground is probably fine. Shooting fireballs is great. They're just super basic level. Now, I don't know if they're automatically upgraded to a depth level just because we have the legend. We could check, actually. Could check in the... Hold on. My broken hand makes that very difficult. Yeah, it wasn't automatically upgraded thanks to whatever it was. The thing that upgraded everything. Pandemonium. It probably only worked on pre-existing ones. Pre-existing ones? Yeah. Okay, these guys suck. We gotta get them out of here. They have multiple homing projectiles. They are super dangerous. And we are a little bit slow now. Level 1 meteor shower. It's a little late, huh? Make them run through the time field. More damage. Alright, here come the shield bros. I don't think we're in danger of dying till we get to the Baron. And he just hits so hard with his bonus damage and bigger AoEs. That we just like can't survive because we, we can't burn him down fast enough. Alright, 19 seconds. Divine shield. Breath of Fire is just is not the thing, man. To quote Hamlet, we're in, we'll catch the conscience of the king. It's not the thing. Anybody in the comments, any of you guys love Hamlet? It's like my favorite play of all time. I also love the Kenneth Branagh movie of it. It's like one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, do we want Celestial Wings, Consecration... Life regen. We need damage, man. Any kind. Any port in the storm. Just finished watching uh, Blue Eyed Samurai, which I highly recommend. Not for kids at all, by the way. And Kenneth Brano, one of my favorite actors. 
He's in all like the Agatha Christie, like Murder on the Orient Express movies, if you're not familiar with him. He also plays like Lockhart in uh, the Harry Potter movies. Maybe you know him from that. But he's like one of them, he's like the villain. And Blue Eyed Samurai, I had no idea. I couldn't even tell it was him. And I like, I know his voice. But I was so shocked when I looked up the cast. It has an amazing cast. More regen, man. We're getting a little bit low on the HP. This is probably a full heal, huh? Wow, that's a lot of life regen or a revival. We'll take a revival there. Though the regen stacking with our current regen has got to be sick. Damn, he's cursing at me, you jerk. Oh no, he's got to go. The skeleton's not that scary, thanks to the fire. But he's kind of scary. My frames. Man, we didn't get like any experience with that. That sucks. All right, we made it to Dracula. Now can we hurt him? See, our best strategy is probably just to take damage. And then dodge and try to heal through it. Damn, maybe not though. Because that didn't do anything to him. I think this is the weakest build we've taken this far. Man, more regen, huh? Fifteen second divine shield might just get us there. This gives us another four hundred percent damage reflection. I think it's the five seconds on divine shield, and I. The more I thought about it, the the more I realized I don't even think it's close. This fight could go very long. The stun, man. The stun got it. Sick. Remember, we get we get HP on, I think, either hits or kills or both. Yeah, step into my office, son. Ah, that was bad. Trying to be a little conservative with my dodges because I know we can take a hit or two here or there. We just can't take a lot of them. We can take like one hit at a time. Like easily, actually. These guys are just giving us HP. Oh, get out of here, nerd. No, bad dodges. Oh, thank God. Flew super slow. Oh, uh, we got super attack speed for a second there. From picking up all the experience shards, which give us bonuses. Okay, we're taking a lot. We're taking too much damage now. Need some dodges. 
need for this shield to stay up for a second as I lose it. That way I can regen some life. Thank you for the evasion. Nice. We dodged most of that. Damn. I was too slow. I thought he was going to be slow on that one, but he was not. Nice. Come in. Ah, oh, man. Wow, did I eat all of those? Stuck. Yeah, more of those, man. More basic attacks. They get you stunned. Wow, so many attacks. Literally could not dodge them all. The old no damage tank build, man. Getting it done. I don't want to count my chickens yet, but I think we've got it. Oh, man. Yeah, 10 second divine shield. Let's do it. And down he goes. Hell to the yeah. Defeat the Baron with Averon. We got that sick. Got a good ring for him, but we don't we don't need any of this stuff anymore. We could pass that on to someone else. But super stoked to be able to get that done in today's video. Only took three tries. But that was with every damage modifier ticked up once. So not too shabby. The run was saved. Went an attempt at five difficulty. Went an attempt at ten difficulty. We knocked them out. We skipped Black Knight Trophy. We got the sign of the Guardian. Sick. Nothing for the party. No, I did. Okay. You acquire a defender's shield and you claim a black knight's hammer. There's the shield looking sick. I recognize these shields very clearly. Where's the hammer? There it is. A hammer of the Black Knights, cool. And then what what did we get exactly? You gain 18 armor every three levels, that's cool. I mean, we went full tank mode on that one. Uh, honestly, I'm not remembering who we still haven't won yet. I think it's Maris. It's either Maris or Nixie. One of these we haven't won yet. And I can't remember which one. Maybe in our next video we can try to win one with each of them. And we don't necessarily have to do it on, like, uber max difficulty. But man, he had a lot of HP, the Baron. Cool stuff. Your dashes have a chance to recharge a dash charge. 10% chance. That's insane. That's so good. Let me just deposit all this stuff. And then we'll switch over to maybe like Maris. Have you seen him down there? I don't think he'll show his face to us. I doubt he even knows of us. We've entered into his realm. Plenty do. 
It's those that leave with something that are written about. Let's grab Maris. Let's go for the spell damage bonus. I was about to say, let's mess with her equipment. She has pretty crappy equipment. We almost certainly have stuff for her. Wow, way better. We have a better torso piece, for sure. It's going to be one of these two. Evasion, spell duration, luck, banish dice, alteration. This gives you a revival. Hard to argue with that. I'm going to take that. Terms of amulets. This gives her healing. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and equip this. We have a couple amulets. This gives us heals and a bunch of dices with dices. Dice with uh some a bunch of rerolls, which is nice. This gives us just a ton of spell damage. I'm gonna take that one. It's my choice and I'm sticking to it. So now we need a better relic. This waste gives a revival. Yeah. That's insane too. So she's got double revival now. Can she even be stopped? This is awesome. Happy to get a way better ring. And then as far as relics go... We've got two options. I'm going to go with the Sentry Eye. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Sentry Eye. And just like that, she's almost completely fully mythicked out. We go here and sell some of this stuff. Doesn't quite give us enough to fully hook her up. What else does she need? Better boots. That's all good. When we come back next time, guys, we're going to try to win a game as Maris. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Brett. Channel's Good Talk Gaming. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.